welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be chatting about mini skirts. This trend is everywhere and I'm here to give you a little bit of a background and how we can make this work for us, you know? First, I wanted to say a huge thank you to Revolve for sponsoring this video. All the fits I'm gonna be showing you will be linked in the description box. Okay, so there's no denying how many interesting trends found their way back from the time machine to our times. And I feel like you all, you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. That Y2K surge of trends coming up is truly remarkable. We cannot forget the visible thong strings peeking out of your pants, the low rise, and now the mini skirts. So when I first saw the mini skirt trends resurfacing the internet, mostly on my TikTok feeds, I was like, mm, is this really happening? But then in the high fashion world, there are talents out there that decided to pick it up and truly bring it out to all the fashion lovers. And I'm specifically talking about Muche Prada, who brought it into the runway with the Prada show and the Miu Miu show. Miu Miu Spring, 22 truly put the mini skirts on the map for me. So the real question is, is it going to stick? So the mini skirts first came to popularity in the 1960s when a British fashion designer and a style icon, Marie Quant, brought it into play. Mary Quant was so inspired by the women of the streets of London and decided to raise her hemlines on her designs. Their supermodel Twiggy was one of the first style icons to hop on the miniskirt trend and became the unofficial child of this movement. Now it becomes really interesting because the 60s was also a time of new liberations and new freedoms for women. It was a time where the birth control came into the market, there were more laws to protect women, Women. So women and their definition of a woman in society moved from just being this domestic figure to being more open and sexual and free. So the miniskirts became a representation of what the younger generation has been feeling and going through and representing with this new movement. And then we're hopping into the 90s. This is where the miniskirt became shorter. We had style icons like Pamela Anderson, Spice Girls, Naomi Campbell, and Kate Moss wearing that tiniest little it blew up. Obviously, once you have such influential, beautiful women wearing something, you know the designers are rushing to get it solidified in their collection. So you had brands like Prada and Dolce Gabbana just taking that mini skirt and really creating a full collection around it and solidifying it as the iconic item of that time. Then we're hopping into the 2000s. I feel like this is something where I remember it, so I feel like most of you will remember it. I mean, Paris Hilton. And then Tom Ford took that inspiration even further and created an even smaller belt-like skirt and made it into an it item in for summer 2003. My mom did not allow me to wear it, so. I had major FOMO. I actually think that it is no longer reserved for only the young and the slender. In today's time and age of you know body positivity and seeing all these beautiful bodies out there wearing things that before we, I feel like never felt comfortable wearing it. I think that it's really empowering to bring the mini skirt in a different way back. So it's all about the way you style it and how comfortable you feel with it. It can still be super empowering, really sexy, really fun if you take it to your style direction. So for me, I would definitely love, and you will see me wearing the mini skirt with something that is maybe a bit heavier or bigger or looser on the top. So a sweater, or maybe some combat boots, oversized blazer with maybe tall boots. It's all about working with these proportions. And for me, because I love to play on the feminine and masculine style, I like to do the same when I have a sexy item to balance it off with something a bit bigger, a bit more, you know, covered up. I personally love the look of a mini with a turtleneck, so everything on the top is closed, and then you have the legs working for you. 
And I think that some of the examples I've shown you with the dresses, it's so easy to find, based on the silhouette, minis that can work for you during the day but can take you to maybe like an early dinner or a night out. It's a really fun silhouette to play with. And I really wanted to show you samples of dresses specifically because sometimes when you get into the trend, it's hard to take one piece that's like just a mini skirt on its own and pair a lot of different things to it. So I wanted to show you kind of an easy styles in dresses form that will take you into different occasions. It depends on how you like to dress, where you're going, what the weather is like. So the final verdict here is truly to wear what makes you feel empowered, what makes you feel good because trends are not trends unless they work for you. You know what I mean? I hope I got to cover a little bit of everything here and I love showing you these dresses from Revolve that to me are an easy go-to for every occasion. I am linking them all in the description box. Are you going to be hopping on this mini skirt trend or are you going to wait it out? I'm very curious to know. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time.